G'day folks, I recently had to buy some brass from China through AliExpress to make the parts that you can see on this drawing. These two tools sit opposite each other in the turret so I thought I'd weigh them and see what the difference was just to make sure there would not be any balance problems but they were close enough, that'll do. Here's the turret with five tools, three blanks and you can see a drill in the gang block in the background. When I finished the first bar, I ended up with not enough material to hang on to and get a complete part. So I reduced the clean up from 0.5 to 0.2 and this is the amount I was left hanging on to with the next bar. This is a 3D printed plug I've used in the past to stop bars lashing around at the non-chuck end of the spindle when they're doing 3000 RPM. But that didn't work with this job. These bars were 90mm longer than what I used to use, so I had to print a longer bung. As you can see here, the new length worked pretty well, 2800 RPM, not too much vibration, it was doing fine. That was until the part fell out of the bung and the spindle and um, the lathe wanted to leave the building. So I solved the problem by printing a much, much longer spindle liner, and it worked great. Look, I even put the cover back on. Right, now for some simulation. Uh, just so you know, this drawing that you're looking at, the bit above the center line is the actual shape of the part, and the bit below the center line is all the toolpath lines I've drawn in CAD so that I can get the tools to go where I want them. As usual with this job, I'll be using a full profile insert. I think I've only ever cut one job in this lathe that I didn't use a full insert for. Well, it was a full profile insert. It was just the wrong one for the job I was using it for. Oh, talking about that, when I set this job up, I had a terrible job getting the thread right and I was doing all sorts of things. And then I thought, I've got to fire this bloke who set this lathe up. It was a 0.75 pitch insert instead of um, a 26 TPI. Hard to get good help these days. Right, the tool has just been used as a stop. The material is pulled out to the insert and then we set the machine on its way and we face it off. And then the spot drill comes in. That's the one that was mounted in the turret. And then this drill is the one that was mounted on the gang block. That's a Sutton's DXJ drill. It's like a deep hole jobber but made for drilling softer materials. And a great drill. Uh, that was running at twice the feed I would normally feed at uh, a normal drill. Here we cut a thread. Had to drop to 1500 RPM. My lathe doesn't travel fast enough to cut the thread at 2800. This is why I profile after cutting a thread. You get no burrs. I mean, there's nothing there, look at it. Those uh, threads are 0.97 apart to give you some idea of scale. First five grooves here, they're part of a CAN cycle. It's just one line of code that cuts this groove. And then we start following the profile that I laid out in the CAD. Now we're doing the profiling. Regular viewers will know that I don't normally part off completely. I just part off most of the way and then tap the part off. But these were so light, they were just brilliant. Uh, they just fell onto the bed tray. Not a drama. So that's what they look like. Thank you for watching.